So I'm trying to get ready to leave for Houston. Shooky was gonna go with me, but he's saying he doesn't want to. He wants to stay with dad. So some mornings don't go as planned. My hair is not done. The good thing is I'm gonna let it air dry and then just curl it when I get there because I'm out of time. Shay's getting everybody lunch. Shay, hey, say something up? to the C6 fan. What up? It's crazy Jeez. around here today. Maverick, Maverick Copeland is in the house. Are you ready for a big day today with dad? Oh yeah. So they're gonna have a big day with dad. And where's Mav? Where's Mav man? There he is. So I'm headed to H Town. I gotta work. There's lots of work to be done. And I gotta be a part of it. So I'm on the road. I say we believe in you. I know you we know you can, can we can do, do, do this stuff. stuff. We know you can, don't we? Yep. Shay. I know. There's no doubt. I'm leaving all these dudes. We're sending, we're sending our A number one to you. <laughs> it's happening. There's Put together a. in the next six months. What's B? Who's B? What? A. He said, who's B? B. <laughs> hey, C6 fam. Hope y'all are doing great. I just kind of wanted to update you. I'm taking you along as I am uh, working, and I'm driving right now down to Houston, well, South Houston, Southwest, I guess, no, East, Southeast Houston, and I have got a good, good friend down here that I am just investing some extra energy into and time into and love into, and she is really working hard on um, going to a new level. And so I'm working different this year than I ever have before. So I'll keep you posted on what my results look like. I've just made a decision to do things a little bit different. And so this is kind of my first outing in that nature. So I'm kind of excited about it. And the Shug was gonna go with me because this is a really close friend and he enjoys her boys and they have a golf cart and a pool and we were just gonna have a little trip together. One thing I like to do is, and I've always done this uh, my whole career, is I like to um, get different ones of my kids and take them along with me to um, just have that one-on-one -on -one time. One thing I'm real intentional about in my family is spreading myself around. And Walker and I were actually talking about this yesterday. He was saying, Mom, you do a good job of this. I'm going to share it with you because it's something my kids like. Is I'm very intentional about spending individual time with each kid. Because we do so much family time where we're all together. It's very chaotic, as y'all have seen. <laughs> but um, they like their one-on-one -on -one time with their dad. They like their one-on-one -on -one time with me. They like having that special relationship that doesn't involve the other kids. So I've always been intentional about it and I didn't know it. I just enjoy my one-on-one -on -one time with each one of my individual children because they're all so different. And I like building that relationship and I feel like it does when you're with them. And so Walker, said, Walker literally said to me yesterday, Mom, that's one of my most favorite things that you do. And so today, Shug was supposed to be with me, but he said, Mama, I don't want to go because my friend's kids aren't going to be here. And he knows I am working. So he ended up staying home with his dad and Maverick. I think he really, if Maverick would have been coming, I think he wanted to come, but they stayed back. So it's just little old me on the road. That's what I do, I'm on the road again can't wait to get on the road again. I really feel like that because I love being with my friends and just empowering people to be them, their best selves. That's why I love doing this channel. Y'all subscribe. Tell your friends. Please, 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 please. We're working on getting to 5,000 subscribers. It, we actually have something big on the way coming. So help us. If y'all can go ahead and start helping us, it's going to help you too. But, um, as I was going down here, I just had some thoughts. I 
talked to my mama on the phone about an hour. I talked to my daddy on the phone about 30 minutes. Then, of course, I called Shay. And I do some of my best just visiting when I'm on a road trip. I just kind of turn the radio down and spend time talking to people that I love. And um, I was just thinking about the blessing that we can be when we are healthy. And sorry, y'all, my mama was calling in. And what I mean by healthy is healthy in spirit and mind and heart and not being a perfect person. We are not perfect people and we've, we all are going to do things and knowing that we need grace and we need mercy and thank God that's new every single morning, but extending that to other people and being a person of love. So I'm sorry, y'all. I keep getting cut off. My mama keeps calling me because we are planning a huge private party celebration over at this um, restaurant at the Star for my sister's 40th. So super pumped about that. But, you know, I think being a person of love, what does that look like? It's being there for other people through the ups and the downs. You know what I mean? And being a person that somebody can count on when things are good. And you're happy for people when things are going good for them. And you're cheering them on. You're in their corner. You champion them. You champion their children. You're excited when good things are going on. That's love. And to me, that's what we are called to do. But it's also when people have hardships and need someone, it's being willing to stay on the phone with them if they need somebody to talk to and being willing to be that person that loves on other people, that encourages them, that thinks about them when you wake back up in the morning. You know, I had a conversation last night and I love this person dearly. And I want them to know that. And I want to hear their story. That Sometimes I think people feel like their story doesn't matter. And so I think love is letting people know that their story matters. Their, what's going on with them matters. So being able to listen to people and then remembering to encourage them and thinking about them and that's just love to me and I want to be a person that that's what I do and that's who I am and that people can count on me that people know if I say I'm going to do it they can take it to the bank that's what my husband says he goes they don't need my signature they can take it to the bank if I say it so that's that's me and I just think if the world had more of that in it, it would be easier. So, the Bachelorette ended last night. And I personally was just disappointed. Very disappointed. Because I felt like Hannah had amazing guys. And really could have been open to find love with someone else if she wouldn't have been tainted by whatever it was, I don't know. I wasn't there personally. I just watched it on TV. But tainted by whatever was mesmerizing her about Jed. So this is my thought. Because it's such a picture of how people live their lives. You're watching it on TV, but it really is what people do. Sometimes they're not open for the right thing to happen in their life because they're so toned in and tuned in to the wrong things and things that aren't good for them. She had the red flags. There were a million things that said he's not the one, including her own parents. His family all but said to her, this is not good. They knew, but she didn't want to listen. So why as human beings are we turned to not want to listen? And we get mesmerized by the wrong thing and it keeps us from other things 
that could be really awesome in our life. So that's just my thought. And as I thought, you know, a lot of women do this or they chase the wrong shiny ball. They chase the wrong man. And that's what she was doing. I and mean, she had her mind made up, you could tell. She didn't have to go on all those dates. She had it made up. And so it was like she was having fun in the process, but her mind was made up on this dude that this is she wanted. And he didn't really even want her. And it was clear, but I don't know. That's just my two cents about The Bachelorette. Every time I say, I'm never watching this show again. These people, their picker is broken. Well, once again, it proved to be true. <laughs> the picker was broken, but I will watch it again. Oh, y'all. It's crazy. And I am totally cheering everybody on. Our finish line happens tonight at midnight. It's This month has already surpassed all my expectations. But I know it's going to get even greater. Send me your wins as they come across tonight. I want to cheer you on. So I'm pulling up. My windshield's a little dirty to my friend's beautiful home. Down here in Houston. And let's see. We've got about 30 people here that are working on some big goals. I see all these cars. So I'm excited, excited, excited to be here. I've got to find me a parking spot. I don't know where I'm going to park, but I'm here. I was inside cooking supper, and I saw this gorgeous set. I had to come out. I'm going to enjoy this sunset. I'm drinking out of one of my Disney glasses. We just saw Lion King, so I thought, how fitting is this? I'm going to have an a kuna matata moment out here as the sun sets. This is not just awesome, which I'm glad I came out. Our hot tub needs some water. We've got toys everywhere. I need to clean up, but I'm going to a kuna matata and relax. <laughs> I'm not picking up those toys right now. I will later, right? Oh, Lord, I can hear the dang rooster. I still don't think it's close, though. It's a positive. And I made the team. You made the team? Dad said you did real good. Got a prize. You did? Mm -hmm. I'm a mask. I'm proud of you. Daddy you said you did You can open awesome. it and it shows blue. You can close What kind of helmets do you get? Iron Man. Get an Iron Man helmet for the team? I'm going to get anything. Did they get bags what? and stuff for the frozen ropes team? Did they get bags and helmets and no? I thought they did. We have to buy them. No. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe in the spring. Say so hi to the C six fan now. What's up? Here, baby, I'll make your play. What are these? Vacuum. What's happening in the morning, baby? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I think somebody's getting a new bed. Not me. So we're. You don't sleep with me? We're cleaning. Cleaning away. Making the room for our new bed. If you've watched our vlog for very long, you know what happens when the hot sun is on. We pull in. Who's gonna take you off? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna push it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I can. You, you can. ready? For, tell me. Go. Here, let me put my purse down. On there? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this takes a strong person. We're doing it. Okay, is it going? I'm not. I'm not good. 
A hey, stink. Push it one more time. One more time. Let me try one more time. Okay. I'm, I'm you want to hold on with one hand. No, I'll do it. Okay, hold I, on. I gotta stand up there. Whoa. Oh, see, hold on. Ready? Okay, I'm holding. I'm holding. Okay. Here we go. Here Mama's we go. doing it. Here's doing it. I can't. I can't. Here's doing it. We got it. We hit you. Oh, no. Okay. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Look how far her pushed it. I'm. Okay, let's go to dad's game. I'm dizzy. Stop it. So. There's the shaver. Open it there. He says this thing on his arm keeps him from his sweat. Popped up, I think. Uh oh, is he gonna get it? Yeah, he did. There's the Walker Copeland. Not too good of a hit. Oh, it's almost. What do they call him Say? Well, hey, C6 fam. Um, I thought I would uh, vlog and, and share a little bit. Something, uh, something happened to me tonight for the, for the first time, well, ever. And for the first time in uh, 21 years since I have been playing this sport. Um, just kind of tell you, I've always... I've always been, I've always played something since I was four years old. I've always been on a team of something or competed my whole life. So from four to 42, uh, uh, played college ball. When I got done playing college ball, I, I actually started playing softball, played on some competitive teams, played on some travel teams. Um, there was one point in my life I was probably playing softball seven nights, days a week. Um, but uh, I've, I've just always enjoyed being a part team. Played, you know, played played basketball as an adult in an adult league. I've I've even played indoor soccer. I just I like being a part of a team. I like you know um, staying active and and doing something. So just kind of tell you, we we just started our our next league. We just started tonight, and so we we're actually on our second game of the night. We played. We played one game at nine o'clock at night, and we lost that one. So then we had to move to another field, and uh, we didn't get that game started until about ten fifteen. And so our team was first at bat, and so <laughs> I um, so I hit one deep center field into the gap, and. Um, so I was legging out for a triple, and so I slid into third base, and the guy caught the ball at third base, but he didn't tag me. I, I slid around, and he, he missed me. Well, the umpire wasn't in a good position. He, he called me out. Like, he was the home plate umpire, and he, he didn't even see. He called me out, and I said, bull crap that's all I said I was like bull crap and so he said you're out of here I was like what you're out of here you have one minute to get off the field so I got ejected I got ejected for saying bull crap 
Now, mind you, we play in a men's league, and it's it's a it's not a competitive. It's competitive rec, whatever. I mean, there's some good teams. There's some not so good teams. And so this is men's. It's not a church league. It's not co-ed. It's it's a it's a men's league. And so, I mean, he tossed me, which everyone was a little bit shocked, I think. So, and he's like, you have one minute to get off the field. And so, I didn't argue. I'm just like, whatever. And so, I'm in the dugout. I've got to get my stuff. I have water and my gloves and stuff in the dugout. And I'm putting stuff in my bag. It ain't like I'm just sitting in there and he... He yells, you have 30 seconds. And I'm like, I'm getting my stuff. And so one of our players on our team, it really ticked him off. And so then it it escalated a little bit. So we had to forfeit the game. So (laughs) anyways, a couple things. So for the first time in my life, playing softball for roughly 21 years I was ejected I was ejected from the game for saying bullcrap which I don't know if it was for saying bullcrap or this guy didn't want anyone question his calls I guess he thinks he's right about every call I don't know I don't know maybe you can tell me if I I don't think I mean I don't know maybe bullcrap's a bad word I don't know what do you what do you think, C six fam? Is it a bad word? Bullcrap? I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, the second thing is is that this umpire. I'll just say this: we've had him for a couple years in this league, and you know, do you know those people out there? Which I'm not going to say professions of people, but it seems like maybe this guy doesn't hadn't had any authority over anyone in his life or he doesn't have authority and then he gets in a position of authority and he really wants to exert his authority. I just don't get it. We're just men out there competing and having a good time. We don't. I I just don't understand. But, I I mean, C6 fam, y'all know people like that. You know, they're in your life and they want to exert some authority because they maybe have some. And there's just no need. But anyways. But but yeah, that's what happened tonight. I was ejected from a men's softball game. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's kind of funny. I said bullcrap. Because I was safe. Obviously. I legged out a triple. Slid head first. Grabbed the bag. He missed the tag. But anyways. So. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, just thought I thought I would share. Uh, hope everybody's having a a good evening. Peace. We're playing a game. What's it called? What's the game called? I don't know. Night at the museum. Yep. No, I can't move. He's um. He has to freeze, and then I have to catch him moving. Y'all think I can do it? I can't with my video camera. No. Tell the C6 fam, who do you love? Everybody. I know, but who do you love the most? Maverick. Maverick. You love everybody the most. I said, who do you love? He said, mommy. No, I can't move you. Tell them who you love. Everybody. He said, I love everybody. Everybody loves you because you're the shug. Mm-hmm. You're an angel boy. Yep. Are you swimming? Yep. You are an angel, aren't you? Mm-hmm. We're playing a game. Okay, C6 fam, I got to catch you moving. Oh, I caught you. Nice. Right there he is. You caught me? Yes. How did you catch me? Because I saw you on the camera. Is it? Oh, did I cheat?